How nasty are those jellyfish? What's up everybody? Blue Gabe. Guess what? We're not in Virginia Beach anymore. We're not in Ocean City, Maryland where I was last night. We're in Chesapeake Bay Beach. And we're going crabbing. For those of y'all that watched my crabbing video, you saw the one a few weeks ago where I was in Steenahatchee, Florida and I called out the Chesapeake boys. Well guess what? They called me out and they're like, bring your butt up here and let us show you how we catch these crabs in Chesapeake Bay. So we got Pedro and Petey and Redneck. Redneck, are you ready to go crabbing? <laughs> oh yeah, let's get it. Let's and we go. got this great big boat. It's what, 46 foot? Now these guys normally pull five to 600 traps a day, but today's their day off and they're taking me out to pull probably 50 or 60 and get a big mess to come in here and cook them at Abner's Crab House. He said this boat's crazy loud. It's a diesel with straight exhaust. So I'm gonna do my best with the audio, but y'all are gonna get the point. We're going crabbing. Y'all see that boat right there, the Catherine? That's the boat that I did my rockfish video on. Small world. I show up to a marina, have no idea where I'm going. That's a boat that I fished on a long ways from here. And right over there is where I left to go sea duck hunting. But Pedro, are you ready to go catch some crabs? Are you ready? <laughs> I'm ready. Yeah. Hey, your, your boat's got a leak. All right, let the fun begin. Look at that thing though. All right, y'all, we just left the port and we're now out into the bay. And he just told me that these boats right over here are the guys that actually dig the clams for the bait that we're using to bait these traps with. That's pretty neat. They get the bait right from the same bay that they get the crabs from. So if I can tell y'all anything, when you go to a restaurant and you order fresh seafood, just know that somebody has worked their butt off to get it. So when you get it, 
be appreciative because I'm telling you, there's nothing about the commercial industry that's easy. something you guys we've only been crabbing for about 20 minutes and we got more crabs than I've probably ever seen before <laughs> what is the deal with all these jellyfish uh, last couple years it haven't really been too bad because all the fresh water we've had we usually they're not here this early usually usually we don't get them till about August maybe something around there but for whatever reason they come up early this year all right, tell me about. It's not the funnest. Tell me about grading these crabs. Uh, this is a short, I take it, right? Yes. Yeah, that's yeah see, that's like I said. The size actually, the minimum size yesterday was five inches. Today, the 15th, July 15th, it's five and a quarter. That means the one that's biting my thumb right now is short. So you guys keep males and females? Yeah. And females. The crazy thing is, is on my video in Stenahatchee, we took a lot of heat for keeping females. So this is the measuring gauge, sort of just like a lobster gauge. They got to be five and a quarter inches from tip to tip. So let me try to find, Woo! All right, so you see from the tip to the tip, that crab's legal. Andy's a male, so he's going into which box? This one? Uh, the male's here, yeah. In the mailbox. In the mailbox. <laughs> Dude, these jellyfish are like nothing I've ever seen before. And I did get some of it on my face. There's another keeper male. And my dog Redneck, yeah. that somewhere has some on his eyeball and he is hurting right now. That's probably the last place you want to get the jellyfish is in yeah, your actual man. eye. See what sucks is you got, you're trying to, you're grading all these crabs with the jellyfish in there and they're slinging jellyfish all over the place, all over your face. So the female has to be five and a quarter too? No, there's no, as long as it's a mature female. With like no her, eggs. Yeah. And this is a mature female, right? Yeah. yeah. I'll try to, try to find a virgin. Well, I know there's a paler in here somewhere I saw. Like this, this crab's too soft to go in there. Let me see her. She just got off a shed. So this is what they call a soft shell crab. A lot of people really enjoy eating these because you can fry them whole. But we turn her loose? Yeah. See, so yeah, actually, this right here, that's, that's an old shed. That's probably her shed. Yeah, she'd probably yeah. come out of that shell right there. What a lot of people don't know is my crab that's in my tank. When I got Frank, he was about this size. Then he got to that size, and the next month he got bigger and bigger and bigger, and then he stalled out and he hasn't shed in like the last four months. So we're just gonna let him live his life out in the tank. For those of y'all that are asking, I didn't get rid of him, I just moved him in my living room next to the TV. That's a virgin crab right there. So that's what's that? A, that's a peeler. Like, she's, that's a mature mature female, that's a mature male, and then that's gonna turn into a soft crab here, uh, maybe a week, maybe a couple weeks, just depends. Couple so days, when do you get that. the soft shell crabs that you wanna get to sell to the market for as a soft that, That's shell? right here. You want the peelers, the peelers are gonna turn into the soft crabs. We, so do you keep her? Yeah, and actually we're, Back at where we dock at, there's a big whole shedding operation and oh. shedding them out, this and that. All right, y'all, that was our first 50 pots and we filled two bushel baskets, one with males and one with females. So for all you guys that hated on my last video about keeping the females, guess what? They do it in Chesapeake too. Look at that though. My feet, my legs got jellyfish all oh, over them. Jelly over there. Redneck, come here. Oh, you poor little guy. Look at that eye, he is hurting. Everybody for, all, for all you women out there worried about redneck we've already put some medicine on his eye we washed it out right now he's just being a little sensitive so hey that was pretty dope 50 traps two bushel baskets full we're gonna go pull some more so they have enough to come in with and then we're gonna see 
Illegal? Yeah. Oh, I was throwing my illegal ones out. I can't throw them over from there. Gonna get all over both of y'all. Oh. Hey, y'all go grow up and come back later. See you in a little while. See you in a year or two. I know those clams stink. <laughs> mm. I don't even notice the smell anymore. Mm. All right, y'all, so he's gonna fire this boat up and we're gonna get started again. Hey. We're just living life the Chesapeake Bay blue crabbing way. All right, so we docked the boat, put the crabs in the cooler, and now we're here at his friend's shedding facility. And I'm gonna let Petey tell y'all what to do. They have two tanks full of peeler crabs, and I'm gonna let him explain the process. Because I'm actually gonna buy a few of these and cook them when we cook the crabs in the restaurant. How you said the salt, these are actually soft crabs. They will be in maybe a week or something like that. All Every single crab you see right here will be a soft crab come soon sometime a good a good way to tell i mean that looks like a mature little male crab right there but there's a little pink ring underneath right there i don't know if you can see it or not and that's how you tell if it's a peeler or not you could put put them in here and it, they shed right out to a soft crab how long does it take uh kind of all depends i mean maybe a week maybe two weeks maybe three weeks but so you gotta eventually come in here and check out. them every day yeah uh every i'd two say hours. two to three hours you gotta check them yeah because if if they get hard like say that crab comes out as a soft crab it's going to turn into a hard crab probably two or three hours and then you don't have your soft crab. then you gotta it's you're doing this for the soft crabs and then you know once I mean? you get him and he's soft you take him out and put him in the cooler yeah put him in the cooler and hard then, now, now that's he's done. Huh. Re ready to sell. You learn something new every day. I've heard about these type of tanks, but I've actually never seen one. They've got one, two, three, three tanks right now. But he said a couple weeks ago, all six of these tanks were slam full to the brim. Now, are there any soft ones in here anywhere? Uh, let me check. Let me look around. Oh yeah, there's some right here. There's one. That's a good old soft one. Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh no, there's more. There's another one right there. Can he bite you when he's soft? Uh, not now. Nah. He can try to, but it's not. It's not gonna do nothing. Kind of go through phases with the peelers. Like a couple weeks ago, when we had a lot of them, and we we're on a peeler run. Right now, it's kind of dropping off. Not too many of them. What's the deal with the jellyfish? Explain that real quick. Uh, they're not. They're not our best friends. <laughs> this, this year they're bad, very, very bad this year, for sure. <laughs> what do you think it weighs that pot down another 15 pounds when you pull it over with jellies? Uh, yeah, definitely. 15 to 45, maybe 50. <laughs> Holy mackerel. All right, so we got three soft shell crabs. Let's go in the restaurant and cook. All right, what's the next process? Right now we're getting ready to cook them up. We're gonna paralyze them real quick so he don't drop his claws or nothing like that. He's ready to cook. There you go. 20 bucks says you won't just run your hand down the bottom of that bucket. I got a 22. Ah, I was just cooking. I don't have any cash on me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't do it. <laughs> Old Pedro was about to get bit. Looks like you're about to do something important. Just gonna give him a little bit of flavor, that's all, right what, before we cook them. What is that that you just put on there? Uh, some ap apple cider vinegar, I believe. And some J.O. Spice Old Bay. Just a little bit right on top. To the steamer they go. Come on with it. <laughs> Look at this. Just set them bad boys right large. here. Oh. Some large. Males there. Oh, yeah. You got anybody you want to say hi to in the world? <laughs> See, Mom, I should have let you do it. <laughs> she just got a little camera shy. But these crabs definitely look good. Thank you very much. Thank you. What's in here, though? Mmm. Yeah. Mm. All right, Pedro, dig in. Doesn't get no fresher than that. They were just just got them out the pots about about an hour and a half ago. Doesn't all, get no better than that. All I have heard about is these Chesapeake crabs. All you Florida crabs ain't got nothing on these Chesapeake crabs. Uh. Well, Guess what? We know the lighting's bad because it's so bright out there and it's dark in here, but we didn't want to eat inside because of all the music. So we're out eating out here where it's peaceful. Is it good? Great. Well, we know you're going to say it's great because these are your crabs. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this big bad boy, though. Oh, my goodness. I need to get a thumbnail of him. Look at that soft shell crab. This is the whole entire leg meat section. 
the muscles that control the legs. And you know that's gonna be good. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I will say that's a lot better than the stingray from yesterday. Y'all leave a comment below if you've ever been to Abner's Crab House here in Chesapeake Beach. Pedro, I'll give you 20 bucks just start breaking these for me. <laughs> so, uh, come here, what's your name? Both you boys come here. Y'all, we gotta introduce some new fans. They didn't know about my channel before, but they do now. Come here. Come over here and sit down. Now, I didn't touch it with my bare hands. Come over here and sit down. You like crabs? You like blue crabs? Hmm? You like crabs? Here, take that right there, hold it where I'm at. Now look, hold on now, I'm gonna show you the secret. <laughs> Don't bite the hard spot. Just when you when dip it in that butter and eat just the meat. Alright, dip it you in like and let's see. Yeah. Come on with it. What's that taste like? Yeah, I'm gonna it. Heaven, ain't it? <laughs> What's your name? Malcolm. How old are you? Ten. Where are you from? Merlin. All right, what's your name? Manuel. Manuel, you see how I took care of him? They, they left you hanging, but I'll I get got, you. I got him oh, coming oh, right you here. Got, you coming? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Have you no, ever ate crab before? There's just a little, there's yeah, just yeah. bite, like just real lightly down. There's a little piece in the middle there. Just bite down real soft and then just take it right out. Yep, that's it. What you think? <laughs> it's good? You gonna start fishing a little bit more now? You said today was your first day, didn't you? Yes. Mm. All right, y'all see those soft shell crabs? I ate one and I'm gonna let them try the rest because they're my favorite thing in the whole wide world to eat. So I wanna share them. Y'all bust one of them claws off and tell me what you think. Oh, y'all dig in. Uh-oh, let's see. That's good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Look at there, look what I got. See, I told y'all y'all were about to get uh -oh. some. I hope you're hungry. Wow, thank you. What'd you think of that leg? That's delicious. Y'all enjoy. Nice meeting all y'all. Thank you, Mike. All right, y'all, life's all about being kind. If everybody in this world's kind to one another, the world wouldn't be where it's at now. <laughs> but like Jake always says, we're getting up out of here and getting the heck out of shape. We'll see y'all next time.